Hello guys and welcome to App Screencast, Danny here. In today's video I've got a review of the application Pixelmator for the Mac. So if you're wondering what kind of application Pixelmator is, it's actually an image editor. Very much like the application Photoshop, but unlike Photoshop, it's quite a bit cheaper. Now it's probably not quite as powerful as something like Photoshop, but it definitely is a very powerful application and I think for most people, um, this is a great application and a great alternative. So I've got Pixelmator opened here as you can see I've got opportunity now to actually choose a blank canvas size or if I wish I can just import an image straight away. So what I've decided to do is I will actually open a blank canvas. So now I can obviously choose a size I want from the presets or I can choose a custom size. So let's open up a new canvas. So in the middle we've got a blank canvas or our image. To the left side we've got our tools, so things like the pen tool, the lasso tool etc. To the right we've got our layers and below that we've got the effects browser. So I thought the best way to demo this application would be to maybe show you one of the reasons I use it quite a lot and that's to create thumbnails for my YouTube videos. So what I'll do is I'll create a quick thumbnail for one of my YouTube videos and you get an idea of some of the tools and features within this application. Obviously I'm not going to be able to show you everything within this short video but this will just give you an idea of what you can actually do within this application. So here we've got my background layer which is just white so what I'm going to do here is actually change the colour so I'll go over to my paint bucket tool go up to the top and select a colour so what I'm going to do here is just choose the aqua colour now there's multiple ways you can actually select the colours you've got quite a lot of choice there um, to get the correct colour you want but I'm just keep it simple and choose this aqua colour as you can see there I filled the actual background in blue and we can see the background layer at the top is also blue in this little preview which is nice now what I'm going to do is actually bring in this image of a bag I reviewed recently on my channel the slip case from Altigo and now you'll notice that this image is quite a bit smaller than the actual canvas so what I'm going to do is actually make it a little bit bigger by grabbing the corners like so and then I'm happy with that so as you can see on this top layer we've got like a white background which I don't really need so I'm going to actually remove that so I can go over to the magic wand tool select the white background I can be quite precise here by dragging the actual magic wand and I can get rid of this white like so hit the backspace to delete it as you can see there I've deleted the background so I'm not quite happy where I've positioned this bag I don't want it in the middle no longer I want to bring it over to the left side so making sure I've got the correct layer selected I'm going to go over to the move tool and just bring the bag over to the left side like so so as you can see it's really easy to move your layers around the actual canvas so now I've decided I'm going to add some text to the actual image so if we go to the text tool we can select on the canvas where we want to add the text and we can type some text out so this is a slip case, so we'll call it the slip case review. If I can type correctly. And we can select this text if we want to and actually change the change the font style, font size, etc. So let's have a look what we've got here. So we'll go for that text style. And we'll choose a smaller font maybe, like so. And you can obviously choose the colour, etc. All the things you would expect you can do. So now I can actually move this text around if I choose to. So we maybe have it at the top, keep it here, whatever we want to. We can also still move the bag around. All you have to do is make sure you select the correct layer and you can actually move anything around when you choose to. So I'll just quickly show you the brush tool because it's obviously quite a popular tool people like to use. If we select the brush tool, we can then go up to brushes, choose what type of brush we want. So we'll just choose a standard brush. This is just then going to allow us to start drawing on the canvas like so, making sure I select the correct layer I can start drawing on the canvas also this quite cool about the brushes is there's some actually special brushes like this one which is like a leave effect and you can choose the size of these brushes, the colour etc and we've got many to choose from so for example we've got one here what's smoke which allows us to add, add like a smoke effect to your image etc you get the idea so just remove all that so another cool tool is the lasso tool which allows us to select, select a certain area. Now if you want to be really precise you can zoom in but for the purpose of this video we'll not be that precise. We'll just start selecting an area within the canvas. Like so. So now we've got this area selected here and making sure we're on the right layer. We can actually maybe delete it, maybe um, colour it in, whatever we want to do. We can do various things from here now we've got this bit selected so what I've chose to do is delete it we can also then now fill this in so we're going to use the wipe and fill it in so I've done some more tweaking to the image trying to make it look a little bit better I think I've kind of failed in this but obviously it doesn't matter it's just a demo 
Um, I'm just going to quickly finish off showing you a few more features within the application. So obviously we can crop the image, which is quite a thing you would expect. You can do in an image editor, pretty standard. So we can crop it like so. We can zoom in if we want to. Also, there's quite a few other tools here down the left side. We've got things like a sharpen tool, a smudge tool, a burn tool, um, a gradient tool, and so on. So there's plenty of tools you, you can actually use here, which is pretty cool. So let's take a look at the effects browser here over on the right side. So we can add effects to our image. We've got things like auto enhance, brightness, curves, the exposure, which is pretty handy. And um, this could be very handy if you're editing photos. And there's loads to choose one. These are kind of your standard effects. So let's just add one. So we just drag and drop it. As you can see here, it's changed the image to black and white. We can obviously adjust it a little bit more if we want to, or we can just apply it like so. If we want to go back, it's just Command Z. Now you'll notice here there's actually a lot more effects to choose from. That's just one of the categories. So let's check out the category stylized because these are some cool ones here. And here we can change the size of the effect like so. So that's quite cool. Cancel this. Let's see if we can add a different one. So let's check out a different one. We'll choose distortion now. There's a cool one here at the bottom called circle splash and as you can see quite a interesting effect you can add to your image so you kind of get the idea there's a lot of effects there some are a bit kind of quirky kind of novelty but some are quite useful and powerful and um, a few other things i really like about the application is you can go into full screen mode which i do really like so you can just kind of focus in on your image and not get distracted by maybe your cluttered desktop which is great. Also, what I like about the application, if we go into preferences, we can actually customize our tools. So, for example, if we want to move these around, we can do, like you can see here, and we can actually move them if we wish to, which I don't want to. Very similar to how you move icons in your dock, you move them in and out. You can do that here. So, you can really customize this tool toolbar and actually choose your most important tools, which is really nice. And obviously, these are just kind of the default windows we see here but if you go up to view you can actually turn on other windows which will show you other tools and other features so overall I'm very impressed with the application Pixelmator I like how it's a native Mac application so it fits in really nicely with the Mac operating system overall I've been impressed with the power and the overall UI now if you're interested in getting this application you can get it from the Mac App Store which is really cool if you like buying your apps from there but also if you go to the pixelmator.com website you can actually download a 14 day trial which I definitely recommend you doing if you're interested in this application so try it before you buy it is definitely a recommendation but overall I really like the application and would recommend it to most people. Now on to the giveaway, the developer was kind enough to donate one copy for giveaway so thanks to the developer. So if you like a chance to win this copy of Pixelmator Make sure you like this video, be subscribed and also comment below and I'll be picking one winner from the comments in the next week or two. So good luck everyone and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.